Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday on the second week of our quarantine, and I'm here at my prayer desk before the sun is rising, and, I, and Hermione is here with us this morning. Uh, she has had a good night's sleep. Say hello. And we also have our familiar, our familiar um, little icons that help me pray. Here is St. Francis and Jesus. Mary and the baby. And today is Saturday, which the Jews consider the Sabbath. So I want to talk to you for a moment about the Sabbath and about rest. In the first chapter of Genesis, the very beginning of the Bible, God creates the heavens and the earth, and God rests on the seventh day. And this pattern was considered very important for many, many thousands of years. This pattern of working hard and then taking a day to rest. And this day of rest was considered a time to spend with God, but also a time to just be, to put down whatever we were busy doing. Um, in the same way, every seven years, they would let a field lie fallow, knowing that so in doing that, it would help the field to be fertile. The same is true of the human being. Um, if we work constantly, if we keep ourselves under constant pressure to produce, the production gets less, uh, it thins somehow. Having a time in which we pause and rest and be with God and put everything down is essential, actually, not only to our relationship with God and to our well-being, but also in fact, to productivity itself. It's remarkable to me that when Jesus died on the cross, um, he also waited. He also took a Sabbath day. On that Saturday, all the disciples were crying and screaming and grieving and one feeling terrible, and yet Jesus waited to rise. That's how important the Sabbath is for God knew that we needed time to rest. So on this Saturday, I know that many of you are quarantined and at home and unable to leave, but you can do something different today, perhaps less pressure to produce, perhaps a sense of just resting today. Rest with God, rest with God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the gift of the Sabbath. We give you thanks for the knowledge that the human being needs time to work, but also time to rest. We thank you that you yourself were so diligent as to follow the Sabbath, even before the resurrection, and that it is built into the very fabric of creation. We ask you to bless all of our healthcare workers and nurses and doctors who cannot take rest today. We thank you for their courage, give them strength. We ask you to comfort and protect the sick, the lonely, and those who care for them. And Lord, we ask that you would heal this world of this virus so that one day we can emerge with a greater understanding of ourselves and of you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. Have a great day.